What's going on my YouTube family? This your man's Veracity TT and today we're going to discuss running FL Studio within Logic in 2022. Let's talk about it. So in 2022, you are still capable of using FL Studio inside of these DOS. So first off, I'm going to take you in Logic. We're going to create an instrument track just like that. Go down the instrument when you hear, and you want to go down to AU Instruments, come over to Image Line, go to FL Studio, hit Stereo. You may have to reinstall FL to get this to work. You have to, when you're installing FL, you have to click, it's going to say something like use FL as a plugin or use the rewire feature or something to that nature. Um, to get these features uh, when I start FL here on the Mac mini M1 I selected that uh, feature during setup and there it is and there it is so you have a stereo how you get to FL you click FL like that and you're in here go to the mixer and you make sure so you see the main master is on FL1 so all your tracks make sure that your tracks is uh see how this says none you got to make sure they all on fl1 so your stuff can come through the master and when you inside of logic you click on the x to go back so when you inside of logic you just have to make hit record like this and you have to record your project inside of fl studio just like the old way we used to rewire now Studio One, however, give you a little bit more functionality. I don't use Logic, <clears throat> so I'm not sure if you can root things in Logic the way that I'm about to show you in Studio One. But Studio One is constantly proving itself over and over and over again with these type of features. So I'm gonna show you why I use Studio One. So in Studio One, you go to Audio Units. Here we have FL Studio. I'm gonna click it, drop it, anywhere I like right it makes a track that's all I had to do click on it load it so same thing in here except in here we can put this track on one we can put this track on two etc 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 right you hit this X go back to studio one inside of studio one see it shows you the uh, it shows you the channel Channels one, two, three, all the way to 16. Down here, you have to have this instrument selected and it'll pop out like that. Now you can see all of those tracks. See that? And you just do that. And it's kind of, it kind of works like um, contact when you're using more than one track. If you guys know how to do that in Logic, then feel free to get that rooting going. But here in Studio One, you can use all of those. Um, yeah, so that's pretty dope. I like Studio One because of the functionality. I'm not sure if there is a way that you can basically stretch those plugins out like that in Logic. If you guys are a major Logic user, I'm pretty sure you can figure that part out. But I just wanted to show you guys that you can use FL Studio, bare minimum, inside of these DOS. Studio One, Logic Pro, FL Studio as a plug-in 2022. So if this helped you out, like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for tuning in.